last one was pretty cool. That had a lot of uh, funny code in it. Anyways, when I moved the camera and the bar from the bottles, and then I showed the polyhedra, <laughs> showed decahedra. picture went away and then you saw the the V and then a line so you know that it's square <laughs> it's like the four corners and the one dimensional line and then I said you don't look down and then it cut to looking up I thought that was rather interesting um, these things just come to be at random. Like, I'm just gonna pick a song for this video. I don't know, I'll pick an album and I'll find a track. I'll record the track really loud. And then I'll just cut up this video and then insert little clips of track. When I'm done, I really don't want to do any more work today, so then I'm just going to like put it on there. Usually they're kind of synchronistic. Can you stop? Hey, come here. You sound very moist. Look at this. She's resting her head. Okay. Creation. I know my part. <laughs> I know what my cell is responsible for doing. Okay? That. I gotta do that. Or help remotely support those who are capable of making that. Because why not? If you're an old retired guy, or you know an old retired guy who likes, you know, maybe doing a little bit of machine work or electronics or carpentry, or maybe you know like all three people, or maybe you know one guy does all three, you know, like, whoa. Maybe you should get them interested in learning about that. You want the schematics, I'm pretty sure they're in some videos, but I can do another one. I don't know. If there's interest. I don't really feel like repeating myself for no reason. And, uh, you know, when I have time, I can help out. You know, we'll be chill about it. Get things done, get things moving. interested in all this even just the the everything to do with magnets I'd like to try it on like you know first hand experience guy I don't know how I'm gonna pay for a car and traveling like with what I make <laughs> it's good work is good I made some delicious looking pot roast today. Nailing the gravy guy. Nailing the roast. Even nailing the portioning of the roast. I actually made a joke the other day that I can spot a cow and know exactly how many burgers it'll make. I can eyeball it. Okay, 
Another thing that was interesting about the video from last night was my reference to The Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Everything's, everything is upside down, backwards, and flipped for the 666, the capital P, the lowercase b, the lowercase d, and the 9. Okay? We didn't flip Oz. <laughs> when you flip Oz, guy? <laughs> no? Does it say no, or do you, does it say on? <laughs> the Wizard of No. So one thing I've been learning about a kitchen, working in a kitchen, which I think everyone should work in a kitchen for at least one month. Like, really give it your all 110% and see what happens. But I think it's going to... That was the lesson I needed to learn and experience firsthand. So again, another invaluable experience. <laughs> Can't put a price on certain types of knowledge when you have the time to dedicate to those experiences. Now, my interest in kitchens is quite simple. I always, I've always dis I have a great disdain for the stereotypical kitchen layout that we have in our homes of today. I have always wanted to have like a salad bar or the line. I would like the line, which is what the line means is you have a pit, okay? And these little troughs sit in the pit, okay? And they're full of different cut up stuff, okay? And the pit goes into under, count, under counter fridges, okay? Where you have a bunch of shelves and you can put little bins of stuff, milk containers and sauces and whatever, meat, vegetables, cheese, okay? And at the top, you have like a prep, you know, you have room to work and knives and stuff. There should be a hole with the garbage that's easily changeable. That'd be cool. Anyway, um, deep fryer. <laughs> like, I don't want one, but it's there. And the grill and the oven with the burners, the stovetop. So, okay. The walk in fridge is pretty cool, too. I mean, like. <laughs> Like, if I if I actually one day was able to build that house that has 18 you know, rooms or accommodation spaces, which means there's like 18 rooms and 18 hobby shop spaces, I think all the rooms will be on top and all the hobby spaces will all be on the bottom because I want everyone to have like your garage door. Like whatever an 18-sided geometric structure is, where every wall was wide enough to have a garage door go up. It was like a wedge. Maybe not wedge shape, but like, you know. Design it somehow. Anyway, I'm just I'm not talking about that right now. But if you had a room and then your shop space and you had like a staircase or a ladder or whatever to get up and down, you know, and two doors, okay, and your washroom was like, it was like, whatever, a bunch. And then your central kitchen would be in the middle of the shape, right? So your ring, you have a big ring, okay? And that's where all your rooms and your floor plan would be, bedrooms, and below them would be the whatever space. Be a room with a garage door that you can put anything you want in to be a hobby to create. If you want to have a recording studio, go ahead. If you want to have a wood shop, go ahead. If you want to fix cars, go ahead. If you want to have a sewing room, go ahead. If you want to do knitting, go ahead. If you want to have whatever. Like a really chill living room setup, because you like to watch movies and play on a computer all day? Fucking A. But everyone contributes. So like, you know, we all like take turns in the kitchen and stuff and have like, you know, come meal time, it'd be like a couple cooks and maybe a prep prep cook and you know, everyone rotates on the dishwasher. I'd totally have a dish pit guy with the hose, with the hot water and everything. But everyone will be eating the 
same thing. It wouldn't be none of this nonsense and everyone ordering everything from the menu. Fuck that. It would be like, today we're having this. Like pot roast day with mashed and side day veg, you know? With some bread that the prep guide made. A bunch of bread, right? Or whatever, you know? Like, I don't care. Okay, eating meat. Yes, it's called Revolution, guy. <laughs> it's Revolution, baby! <laughs> I'm gonna play Pearl Jam now. I don't have uh, Yield, okay? Do the Evolution is from Yield on Pearl Jam, whatever. I had the CD, but I don't have the CD anymore. I got, <laughs> I got lost in the flood. So I'm go I have 10. I have the. I'm gonna play the original because I have the, the Redux. They remastered 10, apparently. So it has like the 2000 whatever version and the original version, two discs. Anyway, it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna find a song from that. I promise thou. Anyway. <laughs> So yeah, a kitchen would be cool. I mean, like, why not? If you're gonna feed that many people, you need a big space, why as well make a fucking kitchen, okay? So on, on, on the ground floor, you have your kitchen and your prep room, and you're definitely gonna have a greenhouse and whatnot, and then there's gonna be count, counter space over there for prep because you have to prep the veggies. You know, you gotta clean them, put them away, process them, okay? Make soup or whatever, whatever you wanna do. There's prep space. And people eat meat, guy. Like, if, if you can, like it's it's there it's delicious and and if you were to create your own the quality of the input reflects the quality of the output okay trust me on this it's fun to raise livestock they're like little creatures and you can watch them i've learned a lot from watching animals i've learned more than i can possibly imagine from someone who had a deep thirst for knowledge and interest in animals. Where I had 0% interest in all of that previously. I knew I wanted animals, like I wanted a dog, but I just like didn't get one because I knew like it required a lot of everything. So like it was kind of cool that I had someone in my life that would, you know, at the end of a long day of work and renovations would share with me everything about five different ways of doing every animal, like raising them and keeping them and what works best and what breeds there are and how you can get them and who has them and can we buy some and how much do they cost and what's the budget and what they need and what's the upkeep, what's the maintenance, how much do they eat, what's the cost of the feed, how do you clean the pens. <laughs> now, yeah, there's a few things. So. About them and then actually like r like raising them and then like evolving your process of keeping them to best accommodate you was also interesting as well now with the mosquito quote like again the last video is kind of neat mosquito comments i should say the their quotes whatever you you wrote them so <laughs> Okay, they, they, they suck the blood of other things and their food for other things like birds and fish and bats, dragonflies, whatnot. Okay. It's evolution, of course. Whatever they eat is going to affect whatever eats them. Okay, and we are here and it is now. And deal with it.